Hey guys, Booker Tonight here coming to you with another NECA figure review. This time we're looking at Predators from the NECA homage of the Kenner figures. This is the Hive Wars Predator. This is the Ultimate Alien Hunter. Predator, very cool. Let's look at the packaging. It looks pretty nice. Age of 17 and up, of course, so I'm eligible to open up this package. It's got a nice little shade of blue right there. Look at the thing right here. It says Ultimate Alien Hunter. Predator with battle staff and over 25 points for articulation. Warning, the one to choke of staff. Very cool. Over here in the back, we have some reading. If you want to pause it and read that if you'd like, you can read that right there. You got another image, like a cartoon rendition right there of that Predator. Hive Wars Predator. And here's the other three in the line. Lava Planet Predator, Nightstorm Predator, and the Hive Wars Predator. Very cool. Very nice packaging, very cool figure. Let's get this guy open. All right, guys, so cool here we have the Warrior Predator opened up and out of its packaging. And as you can tell, this is the pretty much the same as the classic Predator, just a little bit altered. And, you know, with that new bow accessory. Now, the thing I've noticed with the rest of my Predator figures, which I've gotten so far, is that the uh, some of the joints are a little loose. Um, considering the, this Predator figure that I reviewed earlier, look, the joint here is a little loose. Um, and this uh, thing doesn't fit the hand completely, but I mean, I guess I could just tighten up his hand a little bit more. And um, this one, this hand is pretty much really, really loose, so I can't really hold on to the bow staff that well. But still a pretty cool figure. Um, the other issue with <laughs> this figure, I don't know if uh, any of your guys' predators have this issue, but mine has the, the blades glued on to his gauntlet, so I can't really seem to retract or extend them at all uh, and if I try I'd probably break it because you know see here it's a little it's been glued on so yeah can't do that and this is the only accessory this guy comes with so not sure if I'm gonna have him posed with this thing let's look at the accessory though it is a pretty nice metallic uh, has some blue and silver in there it looks really nice you can see the difference between the blue and the silver on there uh, the rest of the stick is pretty much silver, and then here the handle's also got some blue mixed in with silver. It's got some nicely details on there, as you can tell. It's kind of got some, like, battle scars or something. So that's the only accessory he comes with. Uh, oh, he does come with also the plasma cannon gun, but that's, you know, custom to most of the, these Predator figures. And this one, I think, has the articulation. Yes, this guy has the new articulation of the Predator. He has a T-joint, so the legs go forward and back and in and out. Pretty nice and swiftly. Again, you can see here the hand is just a little loose. But it doesn't really matter. And then the arms can go in and out. No, no hindering over here at all. Unless you put the plasma cannon on the shoulder, then it will hinder the articulation. The shoulder, elbows can go forward and back. And it goes around 360 as well. Same with this. It's got a joint here in the elbow. Hand can also go around. But it gets a little hindered by the blades. And this can go in and out. There is no hindering on this because it's a nice little rubbery material. And it can easily, you know, give access to the shoulder to go upwards. And again, you know, the new joints, the T-joint here in the knee. He's got double jointed knees. So that's cool because these are the new you know, predator molds and articulation here in the foot. So it can go forward and back and it might have some ankle pivot. Yeah, it's a little ankle pivot. And it goes around 360 as well if you'd like it to. So yeah, taking a look at this figure. Oh, the head obviously goes around 360 as well. But yeah, be careful with that hair. That hair is crazy. Now I do like this predator's eyes. They're a nice little metallic green. As you can see here. It's a nice metallic green, and the mask is amazing. It's that detail on the face, really nice. It's got some nice kind of indictions here on the helmet. The braids look really nice as well. I like the color of this figure. It's nice. It's got some like light blue on here. And it's got some dark blue over here on the shading around the sides of the body. On the back, it's got all dark blue. So most of the light blue is on the front of the figure, the rest is on the back. You can see here they also shaded in the blue for the rest of the 
part of the head here. He's got some blue here in the braid as well. Looking nice. Even the there's some blue in then the coloring on the armor itself. On here as well, he's got some blue right there. You get some more blue right there. Very, very nice. So aside from you know the hand wiggling around, it's not supposed to do that, but aside from that and the glued blades, I really do enjoy this figure and I would recommend it to whoever is a Predator fan and a big fan of the NECA figure, uh, the Kenner figures from the 1990s because these are indeed an homage to those previous figures in the past. Oh, the, right, the waist goes around 360 as well. It's kind of a little, a little tight, but what are you going to do? And then to compare these two figures, if you'd like to see them in their size comparison, they are the same size as the other Predators in this line. So, all same height, around, you know, 7 inches of height. Very cool. So that's pretty much it for this review, guys. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, or dislike it if you didn't, if you did not enjoy it, and subscribe to my channel if you'd like more videos. Stay tuned with uh, the videos that I post mostly uh, every week. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.